This is Drom Shekasuto. Shalom Uvracha. Ve'adam yada et chava ishto v'tahar v'teled et kain v'tomer kaniti eish et Adonai. So the man, after all that exile, went with his wife and she was pregnant and she gave birth to her first child, Cain. And Cain, those are the most um, like f- uh, strongest um, evidence for the truthfulness of the Bible and on the importance of why to learn it in Hebrew in the holy language of that in it it been written that Cain is a name so like in English you can call him however you call him but in Hebrew there is a meaning for the name Cain Chava you call Chava Eve her name is not Eve her name was Chava and there is, there is a reason why she named Chava and on Cain also Adam there is a meaning it's not Adam it's not like it's Adam Abram it's not Abram it's Abraham and Eov, he was not Job, he was Eov, Eliyahu, was not Elijah. So it's okay to say Elijah for other people to understand, but must also remember all the time that the real names has meanings. They, like, they contain so much inside of them. So Cain, the reason why Chavai Menu called Cain Cain, was because she said, Kaniti ish et Adonai. Now I bought a man from God. Means I earned. It's like I did something to bring that man um, out to the world. Kain means Kaniti, I bought. Vatosef laledet, and she gave birth of his brother at Hevel, Havel. Vahi Hevel roetzon. Hevel, the second child, he was a shepherd. The Cain haya oved adama, and Cain he was um, like a, f- a, f- a farmer. He was sitting, sitting and, and plowing. When, but when it's written oved adama, it means that he was working the ground. It means that he was like too dedicated it was like worshiping the ground in a way it was like there is a de- there is a problem there is a lacking in the way that it's written oved adama working for the land like there is a lacking in it he was not a man of god vahimi ketsiamim after a few days after long days vayave kain mipri adama so kain was the first one to bring from the fruits of the ground Minchal Adonai, sacrifice, an offering for God. And again, it's written, Mipri Adama. He brought from the fruits of the land. He didn't brought something precious that was precious to him. He brought from the fruits of the land. Like he picked up some nuts, some, some grains, some, and like he brought it. Vehevel hevi gamhumi bechorotsono. And Hevel brought also him something, brought, but he brought the eldest animals means the first one that came out of his flock so no from his animals you see the verse is relating the animals to hevel and saying that he brought the first one so hevel had an inner intention while bringing the animals to hashem and not like kind the kind just like yeah he brought some vegetables some fruits of the land and from their milk, and the Creator, he came and accepted the offering of Hevel. But for Cain's offering, the Creator didn't came, didn't show up on the altar. He didn't. The fire did not came from heaven to take the sacrifice, the offering of Cain. Vaychar lekain meod, Kain was very upset, very angry. Vayplu panav, and his face fell off. Means that he was angry. He was not himself anymore. He lost his face. He lost his happiness. He lost his connection to God. 
Vayomer Adonai el Kain. So the Creator reveals himself to Kain. Kain, the Creator, is, is choosing him as a prophet and revealing himself to him, even though that he is failing, and tells him, Lama charalach? Why are you so upset? Velama naflu panecha? And why your face are not like yesterday? Why they fell? Halo im tetiv set. Because you know that if you'll fix your ways, you're going to rise. Everything will climb back to its place. Everything is good. Vim lotetiv. And if you won't fix yourself, if you won't do better, la feta chatat rovetz. So the sin will wait in front of your entrance always to attack you. If you'll fix your ways, so everything will be better, everything will be great. But if you're not going to fix yourself, so you're opening that opening for the sin to, to hunt, to attack you, to, to, to stay there, to wait. And he will desire you, the sin, the evil inclination. But you will control him. How he will control him? If he will fix his ways, so he will control him to reject him. But if he won't fix himself, won't be happier and try to dedicate himself more to Hashem, to the Creator, to be a nicer person, by that he will keep calling the evil inclination to attack him. So Cain didn't listen to the Creator and went and called Hevel his brother and went to speak with him in the field. So when they were in the field, Kaim stood up against Hevel, his brother, and killed him. He was so jealous, he was so furious, he was so angry, so upset, and he rejected the rebuke, that loving rebuke of the Creator. He rejected the teachings and the guidings of the Creator to him that wanted to help him so much. So the Creator comes again to Cain, like he came to Adam and Eve, and asks him, gives him the opportunity to fix, to atone, to do tshuva, to come back to the truth. And he asks him, Where is Hevel Achicha? Where is Hevel your brother? So Cain is answering, Lo yadati, I don't know. Hashomer Achianuchi, am I my brother's keeper? Should I watch over him? So the Creator asks him, What have you done? What are you talking? Why are you lying? The bloods of your brother are screaming to me from the ground, from the land, from the earth. And it's written, means many, like, it's written, the, the word blood doesn't written as one blood, the blood of your brother. It's written, the blood, like in plural, many. So it's talking about all the sea, all the seeds, all the, all the children that were supposed to, all the roots of souls that were supposed to come out to the world through Hevel. Now they all went back to heaven. It's half of the population of the world or one third of the population of the world been just erased in one moment of anger. And you are damned even more than the land that opened its mouth to take the blood of your brother from your hand. When you're going to work the ground, it won't give you no more power. You're going to walk all around the land, you're going to be exiled, going to suffer. So Kain is saying, saying to Hashem, to the Creator, Gadol so Again, we see those bad attributes of Kain. Again, instead of fixing and confessing and doing tshuva and apologizing and taking responsibility, he's saying, my sin is heavier than the, the, than the weight that I can carry. It's too much. It's too heavy to bury, to carry. Like... You did it. Now you need to fix it. Oh, it's too much. I can't handle it. Today you're rejecting me from, from having a house, from standing in one place. And I need to hide, away, hide from you. 
Why are you making up stories? Why are you talking so much nonsense? Why you need to hide from heaven? Here Hashem the Creator is talking to you with such honor and respect and opening opportunities for you to fix even that you just killed your brother, even that you're a murderer, that you're, you did something so horrible and still he gives you a chance and you know and now he's choosing to go with his bad midot, with his anger, with his, with his sadness, with his depression. And I need to hide from you. And I'm going to wander from one place to the next. And everyone that will see me will try to kill me. Starts to be scared and terrified and have foreign and negative thoughts, all like chasing himself instead of fixing and standing in front of the Creator and apologizing and doing tshuva and fixing himself. I want to keep on reading and reading for you from the Bible, but I think that I will uh, skip few parts and will jump to other parts that will be um, more inspiring um, for you guys. I think that I rather um, to do that than just um, to keep on reading and reading and reading. Uh, translation is not um, my main um, um, desire to sit and translate the Bible for you. I also want to give more um, insight, more deep understandings for you to have from reading the Bible. So Bezat Hashem with help from heaven, I'll find more um, to share with you in the future to come. Thank you and may the Creator bless us all as one. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.